gonna do some thrifting and some maybe antique shopping today not sure but definitely do some thrifting today so are you guys ready to go with us <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom by the way she's usually my partner in crime when well, it comes yeah, to thrifting So here we go. We're starting out at the uh, Habitat for Humanity resale store. Um, we usually find some good stuff here. This is where I found my antique buffet. Um, so I'm just kind of following my mom around at first. Yes, it looked like she was running into the store and that was not sped up. She probably really was going that fast into the store. I don't know if she was trying to beat me there or what, but... I'm teasing her right here because she's always picking up just funny wooden things. She has quite the wooden thing collection going on, so that's kind of funny. And then I think she was trying to talk me into this, whatever this box decorative thing was here, but it was um, looked like it was carved or something and I didn't care for the look of it. Okay, so here was my first exciting find of the day. Um, I do end up thrifting these, and I also do a thrift flip with them that I'm going to share with you guys in a, another video. Hopefully that will be the next one coming up. So don't forget to subscribe because you're going to love all of my upcycles and my thrift flips, and I show you how I style them in my house. I thought these mugs were really cute. Definitely something that I normally would thrift, but I didn't grab them this day. I always scour the mug section though because I always want to find Santa mugs out in the wild. Rarely do I ever, but I always look. I did think that this um, angel planter here was really pretty and I've kind of been looking at angels and cherubs and stuff a little bit more lately, but I have yet to pick one up yet. Now we are moving on to one of our favorite antique stores. Sadly, we found out it's going out of business. So this was probably the last time we will ever be there, which we kind of took advantage of. Um, but yeah, we really love looking around here. Just like you. I'm gonna show a picture of it. Nice. Love it. This is, I think, the second time I've noticed this piece when we've come here, and I probably should have grabbed it because this is totally my style right now. I am loving all of this old world, really weathered cement pieces and birds. I so should have grabbed it. I think it was probably $30 and that's kind of what, you know, steered me away from buying it that day just because it is a higher price tag. But if we go back and I see it again, I think I'm going to have to bring it home. I also thought this wire basket was really cute. I'm loving wire things right now, but sadly it was not for sale. Oh, pieces. They're in. It looks like some type of a insulator smasher. Post. Or... Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> it's your insulators. Oh okay. Oh oh, that's what it is. Oh my gosh. Um, they're they're they they put like a, a pegboard, and then they have all these things like this on it, hmm. and that's where your insulator slides over. Hmm. I just seen it on a show. The, like the things that I keep collecting on the red Those insulator ranch. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 85. Mm. They know it's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this mirror. <gasps> oh, I didn't see that. Gosh. 225. This honey. 50. This is 50. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I also really, really liked this piece, you guys. This is also like the second or third time I've looked at this piece and contemplated getting it. But in my next video of thrift flips, you will see um, some things that look very familiar to this. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that next video. You're going to love it. 
And here we are at the last stop of the day and look at all of that beautiful jadeite. Definitely found some unique things today. All right, so behind me, I have my haul of everything that I found yesterday, and I wanna show you really quick, and then I'm gonna take you around with me to figure out how to style the things that I can right now that don't need um, painted or flipped or whatever. Um, I'll show you me styling it and where I'm putting it in my house um, to give you inspiration of where you can put um, different kinds of decor that you find out thrifting or antique shopping or some of the stuff is even from an estate sale. So here we go. I'll show you the haul really quick. All right, so my table is pretty full. I did quite a bit this weekend. Had some pretty good luck. So let me just take you through really quick. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on each item, but I got a couple urns. And these do need to be painted, so I won't get to style these for you guys in this video, but hopefully I can do a video of me actually painting them and the before and afters and maybe give you some paint tips and techniques. Um, this thing actually came in here and I took it out, but maybe I'll put it back in. It just looked kind of looked dirty to me, <laughs> but it is moss, so I can either cover it with some more moss, something a little bit fresher looking, like that or just replace it with something else. Okay, so I actually am going to show you those urns all made over in this video. Um, so here they are, I just painted them. I did some texturizing with some paint. I also was able to cover up that old um, kind of crusty looking moss ball and freshen it up a little bit. So I will have that tutorial and the next thrift flip video that I plan to get out to you guys really soon. All right, and then over here, uh, pretty self-explanatory, it's a basket. I got this at the estate sale and it was $5, nice big basket. I am going to take the liner out of the inside just because it's kind of gross and dirty and I just never like baskets with the liner because of that, because it gets dirty. All right, also I found these really sweet Christmas tree ornaments, decoupage flowers on there. I thought those looked nice and vintage for $2. Pretty frame and print in there from the estate sale as well. This was $2. And then right here I have a whole bag full of Scott's shades. And um, on Instagram, I asked you guys if I should paint the fabric on these because I don't like the fabric. It is dated looking. Um, I do like the shape, just not the fabric. So I asked you guys if I should paint them or if I should deconstruct them and just have them be wire and then maybe paint the wire white or more bronzy gold or something um, depending on where I'm going to end up using them and you guys pretty much all said to deconstruct them so that'll be another little flip that we'll get to here soon hopefully all right and then over here I got this really cute little metal basket this was five dollars the flowers were something I already had and I just placed them in there I think I am going to style it without this inner part Got 
a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween time. I will end up painting him white because I did that last year. So now I have a little collection and he ended up being $2. All right, I got this pretty basket. It's a really nice color. And this was $3. that I paid $10 for. It's really heavy duty, nice and big. What I liked were the columns on here. So I will be painting this and we'll see um, where I'm gonna put it. I thought it would even look good in my dining room because of the columns here on my fireplace. All right. I also found a couple really pretty old pictures. I really liked these and I think they were three dollars a piece. this basket this might be another one of my favorite finds from yesterday and I want to say this was like eight dollars the color is perfect so I'm excited to style this for sure red in the perfect blue color. Um, here is a chandelier, or I should say a lantern um, light fixture. We're trying to figure out where to put this. I was thinking in my bathroom, um, but we shall see. I love this pottery bowl here. Beautiful. I actually found two, but I let my mom have one of them. And this was $8. Okay. Look at this really cool tin. Love her. This was $3, I think. Yep. <music> print here in the perfect colors for my French country living room. This was $5, half off. Okay, so I want to show you how I hang pictures like this that are lightweight, but they don't really have, you know, a designated hook to hang on. And so all I use is this tacky stuff. You can get this, oh, at Hobby Lobby. I've gotten it off of Amazon. I'll try and link it down below for you guys just to make it easy and convenient for you to shop for it. But I just take a couple gobs and put it, you know, around each edge here, each corner, and it holds the picture up really nice. And then if you change your mind, you can just move it without any damage or holes in your walls. And it doesn't peel the paint off or anything. So I'm gonna hang this with this tacky stuff here. Couldn't leave him behind for $2. And bunnies, definitely into the bunnies right now for spring and Easter. He was so cute. He's got the, an awesome patina on him, so I don't even have to do anything to him. This 
adorable little topiary, a little miniature there. of grass <laughs> don't know why I got this actually it'll be cute I can you know pop something in there and have it coming out but for spring why not I think this was six dollars it's a pretty big piece I think I liked the cement planter I'm very into cement and wire right now <laughs> fun. I found a vintage jacket in the most beautiful pattern and I tried it on. My mom said it looked cute so I got it and it was four dollars so I thought that was a good price and then I'm also pretty excited about these um, afghans and throws here that I found at Salvation Army. This one I think was like seven dollars. I really liked the scalloping. I love the creamy color. And this one I really liked too. This one's just more casual looking, but I liked the fringe. And I think this was $7. So that, I believe, is my haul from yesterday. Okay, so here is my, one of my favorite thrifted finds of all time. <laughs> it is this like seven plus foot tall um, cherry blossom tree. Just look at this thing. How cool is this? But yeah, I have it in my living room right now behind my sofa and the bay windows. Ooh.